Don't mind the bed, don't mind the suitcase, don't mind the beanie, it's not bothering you so don't worry about it. But I have the best way for you to max out all your badges on your build, hit 99 overall in literally one day, get all your hot zones, and get some extra VC with a simple method. I mean it's very easy, I've been doing it on all my builds. If you don't know, I have like 14 maxed out builds already, I maxed them out in a day. I literally just made another build today, maxed it out in 3 hours. Fully maxed out, 93 overall only. Max badges, max hot, or all hot spots. If you were in the stream, you know what belt I'm talking about, I'm not gonna tell you. You had to be in the stream. Drop a like and subscribe, you know, click that bell, you know, we're trying to hit 100,000 subs. Without further ado, I'm gonna show you the best way, you know, to really just like level up your player as fast as possible. So starting off, you first want to, you know, go to the subway or whatever, or just make your way over here. And where we're going, it's a place we're very familiar with in 2K17. It's called Sunset Park. And all you do, once you get off the, you know, subway, just ride your little scooter over here, you know, go through these dark, scary alleyways, go past the big snowman, and boom, there's the Sunset Park. You see that sunset? Yeah, that's sunset. So here is where we will get all of our badges, all of our overalls, all of our high Hot spots everything you don't have to play any my career and i'm i'm telling you you don't have to play any micro. I've played probably three games of micro this entire three seasons the game's been out. It doesn't, it, it's just hard. You don't have to do it. So all you do, simply you just want to come back here. All right, so just, you know, move your, make your way back here. And there's a little chalkboard, you know, deal right here. So it's going to have a list of all these people. If you haven't been back here, there might be like a little short guy. You got to talk to him first. But if you talk to him, you're going to be able to come to this chalkboard. And so when you come to this chalkboard, it has a whole bunch of different people. And so first you got like 5-0, Deadeye, Soft. We're not worried about them. All we're worried about out right now is disco the dude bottom left right here it's a little five seven dunker and this is how you're gonna get all of your badges so i'm just walk through what i do so you can choose who you want to guard so we never want to guard disco so we're just gonna click x and we're gonna move our player all the way down to the bottom so we're guarding Gru. he sucks all right and then you have to choose your teammates so luckily they give you two teammates they give you john so we're just gonna put john on um alkins or whatever his name is and then we're gonna pick tom all right we're gonna put tom on disco boom and all you want to do just click start and boom Boom, here we go. So it's gonna start loading up. You know, they got the little intros. We can skip this. We're not worried about that. Just hold X. And it's gonna do it again. Hold X again. All right. So now we can't skip past this part. This little not skippable intro, I guess. He's just explaining who Disco is. You know, you dig Disco. He shows Disco a little five seven slasher. He's really annoying. Like he really gets like the most contact dunks in this game. All right. So boom, we're in the game. And so I'm guarding, like I said, Gru in the corner. And Gru sucks. And mo the other players suck as well. So Gru, you know. He, he's not really good at shooting. He shoots the ball. He misses it. And boom, now it's our time to shine. And so I guess right now I'm going to talk about how to get, you know, badges. And I mean, it's very easy. Let's say I want to go for blinders, right? I was grinding out or mini magician, right? Oh, I got three seconds. I got to score. Nah, I'll do it. I'll do it next possession. Whatever badge you're going for, you just keep doing that over and over and over again. So let's say I want a mini magician, right? All I'm going to do, I'm just run past Gru, right? He can't guard me and I'm just shoot a fade. Boom, mini magician. I'm not going to miss it. It's, it's easy. That's literally all you have to do to get your badges. And so as you see, mini magician pop popped up, dead eye popped up. You know, that's just the easiest way to get all your badges. And so when you apply your perks, and I'll talk about that in a second, you know, it's gonna make things a lot easier too and a lot faster. If I want handles for days, I'm gonna just keep dribbling over and over and over again. It should start popping up soon. Once you start running out of, you know, stamina, it's gonna pop up, uh, killer combos, handles for days boom that's how you get handles for days if i want to get two step i'm just do a left right boom boom two steps gonna pop up in a second hold ball for too long handles for days pop up speed booster okay i guess it didn't pop up then i guess i didn't do it never mind but you literally just do whatever like you're supposed to do for that badge and you just keep doing it over and over and over again oh there it is two step it did pop up there you go like it's very easy so some of the harder badges to get are badges like you know green machine it's not even hard to get um open looks um needle threader and to get those badges like if you want to get open looks you have to shoot wide open shots it doesn't matter if it's a three it doesn't matter if it's midi it has to say wide open for open looks to pop up so let's see this might be a wide open if i make it now nah, i missed it it was a wide open but if i made it open looks would pop up that's the only way you will get you know your progress towards open looks i'll try to make a shot to like prove it probably got to set a screen normally i try to get open looks whenever i have takeover because it's a lot easier getting wide open shots but boom that's a wide open shot and open looks is gonna pop up any second mini magician uh open looks there boom and just like that i mean i already have takeover and i'm already 40 percent to mamba so i'm just save it and literally all you have to do as long as that badge pops up you're getting progression towards it so if i want to get needle threader right this is a very hard badge to get all you have to do is just do a bounce pass to someone on the opposite side of the court from you so he's coming up right now so i'm gonna do the bounce pass to see if needle 
Look, Needle Threader already popped up. Simple as that. That's how you get Needle Threader. A lot of people didn't know that. Another badge, you know, Space Creator, you just do hot shots. I'm gonna pop my play takes that way or my sharp takes so it doesn't go away. Um, Space Creator, you just do a whole bunch of hot shots. I'll show you that. You know, Gru, he's not scoring. He's he's awful. Give me that. They're, he's awful. It's so, they're, you're pretty much playing on rookie, right? So he's cold. If I'm gonna get Space Creator, boom, I just do that and then shoot. I mean, it's a guaranteed bucket every, every single time. I'm not gonna shoot it because I want the ball back. Now, badges like Guard Up, I couldn't tell you how to get because it's just pretty much almost impossible. If you want a badge like slithery finisher my best recommendation is do a spin move in the paint and go up for a layup and if it says open majority of the time you're gonna get the slithery finisher pulled off that's what i figured out works best for me hopefully i can show i don't even know if i have slithery finisher on this build let me see kind of sucks i'm doing this on a maxed out build already but it's the same principles okay so i do get slithery finisher on this build all right so i'm literally just gonna do a spin move in the paint for a layup and if it says open slithery is gonna count so boom if it says open oh, i still missed it didn't matter i'll try to make it for you to show you that like that's how you get slithery or that's the best way for me to get slithery you can try to go for contact dunks it pops up occasionally but the best way if you have a high layup or high dunk just do the spin move go for a layup <laughs> and of course i'm just not triggering it now triggering it now it'd be nice if you could just do a spin move into a layup it'd be nice is that going jesus christ he can't make it yeah nah, it, ain't, it ain't gonna work on this build this build's not a it's not a slashing build but if you are on like a 94 driving dunk build that's what i would do and that's how i got i think i got slithery finisher in like maybe 15 minutes doing that just over and over and over again and then pretty much every other offensive badge is self-explanatory so you know you know catch and shoot you just shoot catch and shoots it's gonna pop up boom I, i'm not gonna miss it's literally almost on rookie you shouldn't miss in here made shot good shot selection catch and shoot that's how you get that dead eye might pop up oh claymore popped up dead eye did pop up you see it's a whole bunch of badges pop up just by just shooting and just playing the game good or just playing smart now for defense i'm gonna just chuck up the ball um i know a lot of people struggle with getting clamps you know interceptor and glove and honestly my best bet for you to get you know interceptor you just have to bait the ai to throw a bad pass hopefully i can do it for y'all right here i'm just shoot the ball whatever i don't care i think that's bulldozer boom that's cool they're always gonna pass the ball to Gru, and then Gru always wants to pass it to disco so i'm gonna just double team disco by holding l1 he's gonna pass it to grew just got to try to beat him to throw that pass and try to get the steal see i was close to getting it didn't get it that time interceptor is really not that hard to get you really just have to beat grew or bait anyone on their team to throw a bad pass it's very easy so boom that's wide open i'm not missing that and if you look at the bottom left it says the shutdown meter and the shutdown meter pretty much just ends the game really fast if you fill it out all the way let's say that bar was full right now the game would end and so like just scoring and like having good possessions and stuff that makes the meter go up so boom it just went up a little bit more so instead of the game ending at 21 it might end at like 17 or 19 and if you actually like really hawk and do really good in sunset you can end games at like seven points but you don't really want to do that starting off and i'll show you why in a minute so right now i'm just this is what i would be doing just to work on badges this isn't me trying to get my overall up this is me simply just getting badges if i want a challenger i could probably jump at that get a contest you know this is literally what you do to get all your badges you just grind them out in here oh he's about to double team me if i want spot finder i'm just gonna spam r2 and run around the court and boom it's gonna start popping up uh i'll just shoot it catch and shoot right here i shouldn't miss it easy oh the game ended because i filled out the shut it down meter simple as that it's very easy getting all your badges very very easy and so boom is doing this little cutscene crap you can't skip it you just have to sit it out and so it says i've got thirteen thousand my points which is it's pretty good pretty good you see claymore went up physical handles went up i forgot i even had that badge two step went up and i got 370 vc so that's pretty cool and then fans we don't care about that so boom that's just getting your badges and you can do that over and over and over i can play disco as many times as i want but you don't want to do that just yet to maximize the amount of time that you're spending on doing your badges you want to make sure that you have your overdrive immunity and a high risk and if you have this unlocked your maximum overdrive you want to make sure you have these badges like equipped certainly or like in the right places so what overdrive does this perk it just gives a boost to any badge that you're working on pretty much so like if i if i shot a dead-eyed shot i would get more of a progression for the badge than you know any other badge that doesn't have overdrive on it okay so overdrive is pretty good any any badge that you know you're like really like grinding for put overdrive on it immunity this perk pretty much just slows down the regression that you know the badge is going to drop from so if you don't know in this game i don't know why they added it but your badges actually drop so for me since i play a lot of ones i put dimer as my immunity because i don't want it to drop right but you can put other things you can put ankle breaker um claymore like i put it doesn't even matter it's, your badges are going to drop regardless so and then high risk so this perk right here changes every single season so i think the first season it was called scholar second season it was called something else and now it's called high risk and so this is pretty much overdrive but you have to be like very cautious about this one because if you don't do the badge that you put like one high risk you'll start losing progression 
attention to the badge. So this is pretty much overdrive, but just make sure that you're doing what that badge is. So mini magician, make sure you're fading. <laughs> you don't want it to drop. And also make sure you have your floor setters. And so for me, I always put unpluckable, glove, guard up, and interceptor as my floor setters. I always put those regardless of build. And I put them because unpluckable, there's really just no way that I know on how to like get this badge. Like there, it's very hard to get the badge. I don't understand how to get it. Glove, it's easy to get in park. Like it's easy, very easy to get steals in park, but against Gru in them, it's pretty hard. So I always just put glove, either gold or silver, regardless of build. Um, I put spin cycle because I had nothing else to put it on. Guard up is, it's probably one of the hardest badges to get in this game. Like I don't, I, I don't expect anyone to like genuinely grind this badge out because I have no clue how to get it. So I always put my floor setter on this. Interceptor, it's not hard to get, but you know, I just feel like putting it on there just because I don't feel like having to hawk lanes and against Gru all the time. So I put Interceptor. And then season two, Ankle Breaker was glitched where you couldn't get it. So I put my floor setter on Ankle Breaker. You don't have to do that. And if you don't have any floor setters yet, like if you just got the game next season, just try to hit like level, I think it's level 25 and level 40. It's in the free battle pass too. Let's see, where is it? So yeah, when you hit level 40, you get the gold floor setter. And I think it's level 25, you get the silver. I might be wrong. Oh no, level 21, you get the silver. So yeah, just next season, try to get them because it's pretty much just a free badge that you don't have to grind for and then i know some people were wondering what is this maximum overdrive and this will only pop up for you like most people they're not going to see this this tab at all this tab only pops up for you if you have five or more builds that are 95 overall and up so as soon as you have five builds, i know that's a lot most people aren't going to get it five builds that are at least a 95 overall you'll get maximum overdrive and it's pretty much just like you know overdrive i see i think the description says that maximum overdrive makes it move faster it moves the same speed as overdrive so this season we're very fortunate we have overdrive high risk and you know maximum overdrive which it helps you get your badges very fast now if you want to get your overall up this is the best method that i got for you first go to your settings all right this is uh, go to your settings you want to go in here and you want to scroll all the way down and turn off this action replays it's going to get annoying so we're going to be throwing oops to get our overall up and it's going to show the highlight every single time we don't want that just turn off the action replays turn off the highlight played camera cuts turn off the after basic camera we don't want any of that stuff on it gets annoying all right now what you want to do in all builds can do this you can do this on a center you can do this on a lock a guard whatever you want to go to the chalkboard again all right and this time instead of playing disco you want to play against five up and so this team is very annoying to play it's three it's two slashers these two are slashers or these two dudes are slashers and five o's a stretch so what i like to do i like to guard the dude in the middle so boom and then i'll put if you beat disco you get to have him as a teammate like any person that you beat on this chalkboard if you beat them they'll become your teammate so five oh i guard the middle dude let's just put disco i don't know on the bottom dude and then i don't know john on 5-0 it doesn't matter all right then we want to play him when you play him it's it's going to be an annoying game because these two they only go for layups and dunks and 5-0 will shoot but when you beat 5-0 and you get him on your team then you're ready now a little heads up there's like a little glitch for me at least i don't know if it's going to happen for you i will listen to this too sometimes you have to play them twice in order you know to actually beat them like when you beat them it'll give you a cutscene, and then you can like skip the cutscene, and then boom they'll be your teammate for some reason sometimes you might have to win two games against them i don't know why i'm just putting that out there all right so boom once you beat 5-0 all right you want to play disco again all right we want to play disco it's three five seven dudes this is the easiest lineup to beat i'm gonna move myself to guard Gru. i'm gonna just put 5-0 on the middle dude and then put john on the second dude or the first dude. i'm put him on disco and then i'm just start up the game so we're gonna skip the intros we don't care about this crap just hold x hold x again to skip the second intro and boom we have to wait for this and i mean once you figure out like how to do this you're gonna be getting like games knocked out really quickly and like you're gonna be like it's, it's gonna be so quick and flawless you'll wish you never even touched my career so we're just gonna play defense normal you know i'm gonna try to hawk a lane he normally throws it to me right in the face he didn't throw it that time all right he made the shot we don't really care all right throw me the ball 5-0 so all i'm gonna do i'm gonna call for a screen i'm gonna use the screen and i'm gonna throw a oop to 5-0 for a dunk very easy so to do that though you have to tap on playstation you have to tap l1 then hold square to bring 5-0 to you so he's gonna be setting the screen i'm gonna use the screen just keep running just throw it up to him he's probably gonna catch it he didn't catch it that time i could have probably got the ball unlucky next play okay boom they scored we don't care it, it don't matter we're just gonna keep doing that over and over again he has to catch the ball though so he's gonna set the screen for me all right boom i'm gonna use the screen just throw it up to him pray we're getting unlu unlucky right now. This is what happens. Like, I'm glad I'm actually like messing up or he's not catching it because this is what will happen. It, this will happen to you. But we play good defense. We get the ball right back and we're just going to keep doing that. So he's going to set the screen for me. 
boom, I'm gonna use the screen. He's gonna slip, throw it, throw it up. Look at that. Every single, or not every single time, but I mean, it's very easy. And literally once you get five oops, you're done throwing oops. Once you get the five oops to him up, you can just start shooting whatever and just end the game. And then you'll get 15,000 for winning. 15,000, I guess my points, whatever for winning. And that's the max that you can get. So I'm just keep calling for these screen or calling for, yeah, calling for these screens use the screen oh didn't get it that time and i want you to look there's like a little circle with a line a line going sideways and then straight down that determines which side he's going to set the screen on and so if that line and straight down is facing towards the right so oh it's facing towards the left this time so he's going to set the screen on the left if it's facing towards the right so like that he's gonna set it on the right simple and so to switch between it hold up hey oh my god to switch between you know which side he's gonna set the screen on while you're i'll just wait till the next possession <laughs> it's a little hard to explain why i don't have the ball so boom we're just baiting him to go up give me that all right so i'm gonna call for him to set the screen so i tap l1 boom bring up my icons hold square and if i want him to set the screen so right now he's about to set it on the left if i want him set it on the right i'm just gonna tap l3 boom he's gonna set it on the other side Boom, he's gonna set it on the other side. That's how you like flop sides like that. That's how he switches sides on setting screens. Simple, very easy. I'm stuttering a lot because I'm trying like, I didn't know that I could actually just stand there and he could just switch sides like that. I really didn't know he could do that. So yeah, that's how you like switch sides of the screens. And that's gonna come in handy too because he'll set a screen like in the corner for you about like an idiot. So boom, call for the screen, use the screen, speed boost. Just throw it up to him, pray. He gonna catch it. He missed it that time like an idiot. Get right back on defense, right? Grew shooting a three. We're not, Grew, what say in your body, Grew? Throw me the ball, call for a screen, use the screen. He gonna slip ski. Look at that, oh my God, like Vince Carter. And so right now, since they've actually scored six points, you see, we don't have our, you know, shutdown meter. So you do wanna try to limit them to scoring that way that shutdown meter fills up and you can end games faster. But I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like, you know, if if you like win off of a shutdown game or not. So Gru just hit a three, <laughs> okay. Just call for the screen, boom, use the screen throw it up he gonna catch it he's missing he's being an idiot all right just do it again hopefully he catches it this time just use the screen throw it up boom there you go and you can do this on centers like i do this on my center on my 610 i've done it on a seven footer trust me you don't even have to have pass accuracy and you can throw the you can throw it wow that went in you can have like a 25 pass accuracy and he'll catch the ball so boom this should be the last time i do it and use the screen all right he slips i throw it up if you don't know how to um, call for alley-oop, you just double tap triangle. That's how I'm throwing it up to him. And boom, I'm done throwing oops to him. I don't have to throw any more oops. And so sometimes the game would end, but you know, I've let them score a couple points. So we got to actually like play a little bit of defense. They called a shooting foul. I lost all my takeover. Wow. Wow. That, that's stupid. But yeah, I mean, it's very easy. So we're just baiting him to throw it to Gru. Are we making? Oh my God. He's actually making shots now. We're not going to lose though. This team, they're they're not. Oh my God. Gru just got a steal. He's playing out of body right now. I see it. He's playing out of body for the video. All right. So he chucked up a shot. All right, since our takeover is gone, I, I should still be, be able to just shoot over him. Boom, this is that easy. Gru want to play out of body. Normally I can just end the game, but he, you know, he want to hit shots and, and stuff. Shoot it, Gru. Thank you. Thank you for selling, Gru. All right, we're down. I'm just fade. Boom, it's going in every single time. Game's almost over with. All right, I'm gonna just press up on him, make him throw the ball, make him throw it to Gru. Gru, are you hitting that? You hitting the midi, Gru? Yeah, you ain't hitting that, Gru. Come on now. We're down. I'm a fade back. Oh, no, I'm not. Let's see. I'm a fade away. I should go win. We're not missing. You see, it's very easy. It's very easy. And normally games would end faster, you know, if Gru wasn't playing out of body. But all right, he's going up. I just got a snatch block. <laughs> all right, this is the Christmas build, by the way. Now let's get out of body for you, Gru. Let's hit a half court. Hold up. Am I hitting that? Am I hitting? Oh, I'm not hitting that. All right, bro. Let me stay in my body. All right, so he's throwing it. We're not making that. Come on now. We're, we're gone. Catch and shoot. Wide open bang and so that's the method to get your level up so like if you want to get to 93 to 94 or 94 to 95 do that just throw the oops and then once you get the five oops you can even sometimes get away with four oops once you get the four or five oops you're done you can just start doing whatever you need to do so boom i got 15k and that's the max that you can get you know for the my points on this and then 300 vc so i mean it's very 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 easy getting your level up getting your badges and that's exactly what i do it, i literally maxed out my build in three hours or like three hours in five minutes or something it's very easy just playing this over and over and over again and i mean that's pretty much everything and so like i said you'll get to the point as soon as you end the game you'll just come right here boom 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 start the game just like that i mean it, it's it's that easy it's I, I can do that with my eyes closed that's pretty much it i might make a tut on how to get like every single badge because i know how to get most of them but some of them like guard up like i said you really just can't get those badges but i went over how to get you know 
some of the basic ones. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You just keep playing this over and over and over again. You'll max out your build in literally no time. Like you'll max out a build. You can max out two builds in a day. I swear to God, I'm gonna quit out this game. I don't feel like playing that. Last thing, last thing. Make sure you have your takeover perks equipped. Like whether it's extender, sponge, accelerator, make sure you have that equipped. A lot of people even forget this is a thing. So make sure you have that. And you don't need boost. You don't need to be buying Gatorade for this, bro. You're literally playing one like rookie. That's the video, man. If y'all enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, man. It's me and boy GB3, man. I'm out, y'all. Peace.